Hello, dear viewer. Um, right, it's been a little while since I've uploaded. It's <laughs> just a little while, you know, like two months. Look, can you really blame me? <laughs> I was lazy, okay? Can't blame you, right? So, uh, we're back. We're back in, baby. And today I'm bringing you this absolutely epic and based user interface that I made in like. I don't know, like two days. Okay, look, I've been a little bit lazy, but that doesn't matter. We are right here, right now, and we're showcasing this. So, um, I'm just gonna like uh, show you how it works. We have a start position, a target position. You can set some flags. Yes, we want to set the blocks. Yeah, we're gonna do these flags, and you know, you run it, does the thing, <clears throat> it works. Uh, I mean, uh, I'll show you how it's done internally, but like, there's really not that much to see to be honest it's really not that interesting but you know here you go um here's your uh here's your video after like two months all right so um all right let's get into this um so first off we employ the use of a uh, method hooking of course um <clears throat> we have uh hooks for two methods First off, swap buffers so that, you know, we can render the things. This is for rendering and wind procs so that we can uh, handle the uh, whatever event inputs in the window so that we can actually uh, interact with the GUI. So, um, all right, uh, we initialize, you know, we get the window handle. We get the hook for wind proc, which is really easy because it just lets you literally just modify the wind proc of the window and we get the swap buffers and initialize minhook of course we love minhook and then uh at the end of the program we destroy it because you know you don't want to leave invalid hooks once you uninject and all right that's it for the hooks part not much interesting here to um to be honest right um <clears throat> moving on to the gui itself um here we are just using IM GUI or, you know, immediate mode, graphical user interface, sort of fuck cares. And, well, um, basically the interesting part is here where we, uh, you know, actually define the detour functions that we make using the hooks. Uh, we have the swap buffers. This is basically just gonna run like right before calling the actual swap buffers. That's the whole idea. This is just a detour, just a trampoline. We're not actually replacing swap buffers, obviously. I don't even know why I'm specifying this. It's like so obvious. Look, I'm rusty, okay? I haven't made shit in like two months. So uh, anyway, uh, we initialize if it's not initialized and we employ the new context. Uh, we have the new context and the old context right here. Um, <clears throat> we uh, activate the new context. We draw our uh, GUI and then we bring the old context back and just let Minecraft do its rendering. Um, Right, um, and in the GUI draw function, not much happens. We're just, you know, instantiating the GUI, the buttons, the checkboxes, the whatever. Um, and we store the user interface's state in the header file. And then we use whatever is here to um, actually, you know, modify the state of the pathfinder. And then, um, well, yeah. And then uh, once we choose to run it, we will be running it with the state that we set from the user interface. Right. Um, and also, look, you can notice I changed the pathfinder from like um, whatever uh, functions with parameters I was using. It's mostly just a state machine now where we just manually modify the state using the interface. Uh, yeah. Um, to uh, run this whole uh, GUI thing, we initialize the hooks and then, uh, you know, it does its magic because uh, once we set up the hooks, they will be called by, um, you know, whatever functions are uh, supposed to be called. Um, for example, uh, you know, swap buffers. Uh, an important thing to remember here is that swap buffers, um, and I believe Windproc as well, would make sense. Um, these run on a different thread from uh, what we're on currently. So uh, you'll have uh, your DLL thread running in this... Uh, while loop of the run and then you'll have you know the minecraft thread itself running your native code <clears throat> so you have to be pretty careful here what you do with the java native interface and whatever preferably nothing <laughs> because you know you should probably do as little processing as possible in here because otherwise you're just gonna slow the whole game down 
But uh, I did get stuck on this a little bit because, you know, I wasn't expecting this to be on a different thread, although it absolutely makes sense. Because this is being called um, <clears throat> by the Minecraft thread. So um, either way, that is about it. Um, again, not that interesting, I admit, but, you know, at least I wanted to get a video out since it's been like two months. And uh, also, I'm not sure if you can hear it on the video, but I am actually just playing lo-fi on Spotify because uh, if you think I can be bothered to actually edit this video and, uh, you know, put in music myself, you're crazy, dude. I'm not editing this. Are you out of your mind, dude? Anyway, um, thank you for watching. Um, I wish you the best if you stay till the end and, uh, you know, see you soon.